Now in this question then we've got the two complex numbers z equals 5 minus 3i and w equals 2 plus 2i and we've got to work out what z squared is and in part b z divided by w. So let's start then with part a we've got z squared equals and it'll be 5 minus 3i multiplied by another 5 minus 3i. So if we expand this, we've got 5 times 5 is 25. And then we've got 5 times minus 3i, and again minus 3 times 5i. So both of those are going to be minus 15i, minus another 15i, which will be minus 30i. And then you've got minus 3i times minus 3i, so it's going to be plus 9i squared. Knowing that i squared is minus 1, that gives us 25 minus 9 which is 16 and then you've got here minus 30i. Okay so that's part A. For part B we've got to do z divided by w then. So that's going to be 5 minus 3i divided by 2 plus 2i. And for something like this we've got to multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate of 2 plus 2i. And that is to multiply top and bottom by 2 minus 2i. So 2 minus 2i over 2 minus 2i. So if we expand this we've got 5 times 2 which is 10. Then 5 times the minus 2i is minus 10i. Minus 3i times 2 is minus 6i and then minus 3i times minus 2i is plus 6i squared. And that's all divided by, and if we multiply out the bottom, we've got 2 times 2 which is 4, then we've got 2 times minus 2i which is minus 4i, 2i times 2 which is plus 4i, and finally minus, plus, I should say plus 2i times minus 2i which is minus 4i squared. So if we just come down here, z over w then if we can carry on gives us 10 here minus 6 gives us 4 and then we've got minus 10i minus another 6i is minus 16i and that's all divided by 4 plus 4 here which is 8 and the i's cancel for minus 4i plus 4i is zero. So we've got to give this into two terms, a real part and an imaginary part. So if we finish off we've got 4 divided by 8 which is a half and then minus 16i divided by 8 which is minus 2i. So there we go, there's z over w then. And that brings us to the end of this particular question.